All right, everybody, welcome back to Starfire Gaming. I am Sir Joseph, and we are working on part two of Celasta, Crown of the Magister. Had some technical difficulties with my first, second episode and didn't record right, so that's why there's other save loads there that I have to go back on. All right, tip, switch to cautious mode when exploring. You'll be slow, but better able to notice traps and footsteps. Okay, so we are getting close to loading up. Here we go. All right, so as you remember, we went through the tutorial when last we played. And now we need to go get sworn in with the council. I think I remember how to get there. I was wrong. There we go. I was close. Running up the stairs. This place is magnificent. I love the map. Maps are cool. Nice garden. <laughs> nice garden. All right, and you can see there is an angry bush over here. So let's go ahead and collect from the angry bush. And then we'll go into the council and do the council stuff. There's Lord Karen. Look at the size of this council hall. So this is what they spend our taxes on. Look, is that... The princess? Wait, is she leaving? Apparently so. Then who will administer the oath? The maid who empties a chamber pot. No, we're not as important as that. Perhaps a stable boy. You thought it would be the princess? Little snarky comments. I kind of like them. If she rules the whole principality, who's more important? Lady Keen, the council's oath keeper, is trusted by all. Lord Caron. Yes, my lady. Are these your new deputies? They are, my lady. My name is Lyra Keen. Oath Keeper of the Council. Shh. Quiet, everyone. And I will be administering your vows. Once sworn in, you will carry the authority of the Council wherever you go. Your every action will reflect upon the Council's reputation. Remember that. Always. Now, please, raise your right hands. Do you, each and all, solemnly swear your lives and allegiance to this Council and promise to carry forth our mission to protect our alliance from any who would threaten the common good. I swear. I swear. Excellent. Lord Caron will enter your name into the Council's register. Thank you for your service. Congratulations, deputies. Wait, that's it? Frankly, the speech was long enough for my taste. The formality reflects the solemnity of your oath, but more would probably be immodest. So, the mission. As I'm sure you know, the Council maintains a number of outposts to secure the border between the Principality and the Marches. One of them is the former Imperial Fortress, KLM. It's held by some 50 troops under the command of Captain Henrik. He sends us weekly status reports, or rather, he used to. We haven't heard a word from him in three weeks. Leave immediately for KLM and find out if anyone there is still alive. If Captain Henrik or anyone else is still breathing, bring him back. The Council wants a first-hand report. 
A whole garrison gone? There are only four of us. Just find out what happened. Run back if you get scared. Got it. Though we were hoping for a first mission with more riches than risk, if you catch my drift. You don't get to choose your mission, I'm afraid. So, gather what you need and go. Time is of the essence. What can you tell us about this Captain Henrik? A fine officer. More than 15 years in the Principality's army. He inspires trust, loyalty and courage. Hence the decision to post him there, facing danger. Wait, these marches, they're not in the Badlands, are they? The marches are a no-man's land, between the civilized world and the Badlands. It's outside the chain of mountains that really define the Badlands. We wouldn't send you in there, yet. Right, I guess that's that. It's on to KLM. All right, the five council factions have representatives in K.R. Kiflin. Kiflin? Kiflin, that's what it says. They can sell you equipment, spells, and many other things. The better your relationship with a faction, the more they have to offer and the lower their prices. However, these factions are in competition with each other, which means you can't please them all. Various subquests will give you opportunities to improve your relationship with one faction or another. Keep an eye on the faction of the in the bleh. keep an eye on the faction section of the journal press the map button to open the location map when a waypoint has been found you can use it to fast travel to another place in the location for now you can use fast travel to journey to the grave keeps a cask so first off let's take a look at our journal our quests to level up. That's the only quest we have at this stage. The factions, there's the Antiquarians, which are indifferent to us. The Arcanum, which are indifferent to us. The Circle of Danantar, which is indifferent to us. The Tower of Knowledge, which is indifferent to us. The Scavengers are also indifferent to us. But hey, the Principality of Mazgarth, they have sympathy for us, so they will join us in battle. Now we're going to go to the map. I, I can't say how much I love this map. It is a great map. And we're going to fast travel to our Graves Keep Cask. Talk to the unknown drunk. Uh, go get killed in the Badlands. And he's useless. Hello, adventurers. What can I offer you? All right, let's see what he's got to say to us. Tell us about your tavern. The inn? Well, it's not that old, but somehow it feels like it's been here forever. Well, you can meet all kinds of people here. That's the good thing. An old scavenger, a diplomat from the council, a knight, a lord, a beggar. We also have rooms to rent by the night. Why the name? Grave Keeps Cask. Well, it's very old from Imperial times. Perhaps a historian would know, but I don't. Your beer is terrible, and that's being polite about it. What? What? I've never had any complaints about the beer before. Maybe your palate is not refined enough. <laughs> yeah, everybody complains about it. We'd like beer. to stay for the night. Sure. Just walk up to the suite and settle in. A suite? Oh, it's more like a large bedroom, really. But you know, this is the capital city. Ten gold. All right, now we can level up. Start with Joseph. Divine Smite. When you hit a creature with a melee weapon, you can spend one spell slot to deal 2d8 additional radiant damage, plus 1d8 per slot level above the first, Plus a d8 when hitting an undead or fiend. Choose a fighting style and spell casting. So defense, while you are wearing armor, you gain plus one to armor class. Armor class is always good. Dueling, when you are wielding a melee weapon in one hand and no other weapons, you gain plus two bonus to damage rolls with that weapon. 
What does that counts with a shield? Protection. When a creature you can see attacks a target other than you that's within five feet of you, you can use your reaction to impose disadvantage on the attack roll. You must be wielding a shield. Great weapon. When you roll a one or a two on damage die roll for an attack you make with a melee weapon that you are wielding with two hands, you can re-roll the die. You must use the new roll, even if it is a one or a two. The weapon must have the two wep two handed or versatile property to benefit. Now let's go with defense. Armor class is always good. Look at spells. Bless, cure, divine favor. Heroism. Shield of faith. Yeah, those look good. Niala. Gonna pick an arcane tradition. Got an additional spell slot. Get to pick two spells. Arcane recovery. Once per day, when a when you complete a short rest, you can recover a number of expended spell slots. Max fifth level. Up to half of your wizard level rounded up. Arcane traditions. Green mages are the heirs of the ancient traditions of the Sylvan Elves. They are wardens of the forest, specialized in nature magic, and also reliable bowmen, trained to survive without spells if need be, as if as they had to in the wake of the cataclysm. Lore masters are obsessed with the lost knowledge of pre-cataclysm times. They know that the old empire had superior magic and they long to learn more about that lost spell or the lost spells and rituals. Their magic is focused on gathering all possible knowledge. Shock Arcanist. Shock Arcanists were the battle mages of the Manikilan Empire. Their teachings have survived the cataclysm to become a renowned and feared magic tradition taught in Every major magic school. Well, let's become a battle mage. So we get two more spells. Identify will be nice. Though we do not have a pearl worth a hundred bucks. She does have a pearl. I didn't remember seeing that. We'll have to see how much that cost. And charm person, color spray, comprehend, false life, fog cloud, hideous laughter, thunder wave is a good spell. Anton. Cunning action. You can take a bonus action on each of your turns in combat. This action can be used only to take a dash, disengage, or hide action. All right, not much for old Anton. Tanya, cleric. Another first level spell slot. Get channel divinity. Let's us turn undead and preserve life. Check out her spells. Uh, let's see, Bane. These are set. Detect magic. Detect. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. Some new quests. Buy some food. And visit the magic shop. Alright, let's head on out. There's a guy over here who's got a little quote above him. Let's talk to him. Heldon. Clear sure skies, so. adventurers. Alright, Heldon's got nothing to say. Let's go ahead and take off. Let's go talk to Hugo first. Uh, talks about crafting. 
So you need the kits, you need the equipment, you need some skills. Just kind of going next through these. If you guys want to read it, you can pause the video. Hello, how may I help you? Let's take a look at what he's got. Healing potions, antitoxins, some kits, some stuff that... Um, Need Brotherhood for him to sell me more stuff. Now let's sell these clothes. I don't need those. How much is that pearl? It is a 100 gold piece pearl. All right, so we don't need... We got to make sure we save that because we need that for our identify spell. I don't think there's much to sell. You need to get some bows for people, too. I don't have any ranged weapons for anybody. We're limited on money. We still got to buy provisions. Welcome to Gorim's Emporium. Are you Gorim? That's me, the one and only. What do you have to sell? Everything you'll need for going out there into the Badlands. Food, ropes, torches, and of course, armor and weapons. I also have some other stock like remedies and antitoxins. That can come in handy. Ever heard of deep spiders? Let's see what Gorm has. Uh, Gorm's got a ton of stuff. Adventuring gear, crafting, magical devices, probably adventuring gear. There we go. Let's get five days for everybody. So that'll be 20 bucks or 20 rations. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, missed one. There we go. That's going to cost me 40 gold. Let's go ahead and get that. Don't got no bows. Oh, there's the bows. Short bow. Let's get a short bow for the rogue. And that leaves us with 10 bucks. So that'll be enough to, to hang on to our gold. Okay. So I'm obviously well over encumbered. So let's give our bow to Anton. And everybody gets their five days worth of rations. So it looks like we're just light enough to not be encumbered. Uh, do we got any arrows? I forgot to buy arrows. Arrows. Let's give these to Anton. So we got 20 to go with. Put these guys up there. So he's got 31 arrows. Hopefully that'll last. Deputies, a word if you please. So famous already. I love it. You were in there too. Are you a member of the council? I'm Annie Bagmorda. Quartermaster of the Scavengers Guild. We don't have a seat in there, but they all know exploring the Badlands without us would be a bad idea. That's why you should stop by our headquarters downtown. You'll need our services, I'm sure. Is that, uh, compulsory? No. But you'll find our services useful. Everyone does. Did Lord Caron not tell you? No, he pretty much stuck to giving orders. Oh, right. Anyway, 
We offer plenty of help and advice to beginners like you. We are grown-ups, you know. At least most of us are. Of course you are. Well, good luck. Scavengers, eh? I never knew if they were legit or not. Inviting beggars to the council? How peculiar. I'd rather visit the temple, honestly. So, what do you think? Should we check out their headquarters? It's not far, but I've had enough talking. Let's go kill some monsters. If there's business to be done, we can't afford not to. All right. Well, quick shopping. You can just quick shop on their shop so you don't have to listen to them talk. And there is the gal we were just talking to, Annie. Ah, you came. You picked our curiosity. So, what exactly do you have to offer? You don't know. Do you sell healing potions? No, we don't. There's a shop for that. What kind of help do you offer to people like us? Simple. Now, people like you typically carry out missions for the Council. In the marches, even in the Badlands. Sometimes far away, like Captain Merrin. Who's Captain Merrin? You really must be new. She's one of yours. Senior Deputy of the Council. Anyway, you trek out to some old ruin in the Badlands, kill a bunch of orcs, well, you're still a bit green, so let's say goblins. <laughs> Ouch! You're hurting our feelings. Orcs will hurt much more than your feelings, believe me. And stop interrupting, it's rude. So let's say you find yourself with a whole load of rusty swords, leather armor, shields too much for you to log back here. Oh, so we're puny as well as green. Thanks so much. So instead, you brave heroes just clear the place of monsters and draw us a nice clean map. Then we take our carts and pick up every piece of junk. We bring it back, we sell it, and we split the profits with you. We move the stuff, you go off to kill more bad things, everybody wins. For a percentage, of course. What? You could never carry it all anyway. Not in your little backpacks. Well, thank you. I guess that's it for us. Fine. Feel free to visit us any time. Or drop into any scavenger camp. Are there others? Anywhere we can settle. By the way, if you find Captain Henrik, tell him we're still interested. In what? In getting our people to care Lem. The outpost is perfect for us. Close to the Badlands, with plenty of space for our camp. Right. We'll tell him if we find him. That would be appreciated. The more you do for us, the more we do for you. Oh, so this business relationship can get better. And I hope it will, friend. I guess we'll see you around then. Sure. Good luck out there. And don't forget, in the Badlands, always keep your eyes open. All right, I do like that um, that mechanism there with the scavengers. The cool thing with the scavengers that way is you don't have to try to lug everything back, and you still get money off of the regular stuff. So now we have to leave town. Yeah, it looks like we need to go. Oh, no, that's Temple Guard. Yep, this way here. Heading off to Karim Lem. Go ahead and go. Alright, use the arrow keys to explore the map. Click on the destination you plan to travel. The party will take some time to get there. While en route, you gather food. Forge for hunting, find certain ingredients, encounter travelers. Go at a slow play pace, is cautious. Um, 
trying to remain hidden. Normal pace is faster but riskier. The fast pace is quickest of all, but it can be more dangerous. Rangers are good in their own territory. Uh, you can set up your tr stuff so you don't need to micromanage. So basically you can interrupt when you level up, things like that. So, Karim Lem is the outpost. He's got the little quest there, so let's head that way. And let's go to normal pace. Uh, travel routine. Don't get exhausted. This is our fatigue over here. Party gains three food rations. I like that we're kind of finding. It tells you what happens along the way. Tanya cooks a nice meal. Nice. Thanks, Tanya. We're surprised by bandits, though. In combat, you can move normally and then dash is your main action. He has climbed all the way up here. Oh, our guys all rolled horrible initiatives. Surprise attacks, we don't get initiative, but basically said, hey, unload on these guys when you can because you're going to get your rest afterwards. So don't worry about your spell slots and all that stuff. Mighty nice when those guys start so far away from us. Man, our initiative rolls were terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Stay Ow. with us. All right, so Anton. Too slow. How do I get the backstabbing? I should have got the backstab. Oh, that guy. I killed that guy. Maybe I'll get it over here. Oh! Ooh, that must have hurt. Ah, uh, maybe because she was surprised and she doesn't give that. Uh, <laughs> nice. Good damage on that one. <laughs> Smite! Oh, bend the knee or perish. Oh. Magic missile. All right, we smoked them. Good job, guys. One foe down. Let's loot. Ah, I like this. They give the whole everybody's loot that you get. So we want some money, some more money, some more money. Nalia can carry stuff. Let's give her some rations for everybody. Oh, there's more money. A flower. Another ration. Great sword. Weighs six, worth 50. That's an expensive item. Let's have Anton carry that. Tanya could use a crossbow. Don't have any bolts for it, but maybe they gave us bolts when she picked it up. We'll find out in a second. Go 
ahead and get our rest on. Finish that up. Didn't find any food. Collected crafting stuff, interrupting. Maybe we can interrupt it and then resume. Nalia writes a chapter in her personal journal. Tip. Most characters can jump two cells without a problem. Longer jumps require strength, and proficiency with athletics helps a lot. You always have a chance to fall prone when landing if you jump for her. All right. So, that's Kerlem. We're almost there. It's just up the hill. It's a little too quiet, don't you think? And a little too in ruins, I would think as well. I'm just going to step forward here. Let's look at inventory real fast. She did get the crossbow bolts. Oh, she had a crossbow already. Well, that's what I get for not paying attention. He's got his short bow. Evidently, he had a short bow already, too. I am just... Should have paid attention to that stuff before I bought. Spent our money. Oh, well. Money spent. It's too late to worry about that now. So, this is a good time to stop. Right before we go into Karalem. And thank you for watching. Again, this is Starfire Gaming. I have been Sir Joseph. You guys have been awesome. And please leave a comment down below. Put that like button if you liked it. Hit the subscribe button if you really liked it. And as always, please stay safe out there. You guys all have a great afternoon or a great evening or a great morning, depending on when you're watching this. Thanks so much.